Have you ever spent a night in Casualty, Norman? You try telling a six-foot drunk with a Stanley knife you'll run out of swabs. I'm not telling him, I'm telling you. Stop behaving like the night shift is your private army. OK, we don't always play it by the room, granted, but we are not a private army. And if you can't take us as we are, then go ahead. Close us down. You're entitled to do that. Coming out of your skin, you got tears making tracks. From above, I get threats. From below, I get flowers. You're late. That are scared of the facts running down You maniac! You what I could have killed you! Can't quite see how my death would have been my Where were you anyway? A bit of the ceiling fell down in maternity. What did you do this time? I put up a sign. You were falling masonry. That's what I call preventive medicine. I sit there on the phone at a meeting, I think, what in heaven's name am I doing here? A couple of nights, it'll all be over. Besides, as I said before... If you say this department can do with a little paint, I resign. That's life. <clears throat> well, it shouldn't be. It's a complete waste of time and money, whichever way you look at it. And please don't smoke in my office! Uh, there's no responsibility without freedom. And there is no freedom without responsibility. <laughs> and what does that mean? Bucket if I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, you're wrong. We shouldn't be, but we are. And that's why I'm going to fight this to the last ditch. I'm not going to have surgeons doing daycare surgery in the ops ward, while my corridors become a dumping ground for patients without beds. I'll come and have breakfast with you after the shift. Bacon and egg, mushrooms, fried bread. You're a new woman. 